It takes time to get to know a person. One of the worst things we can do is to judge a person prematurely. To come up with a judgement in our minds without meeting a person, without talking to a person, without actually knowing the person. The longer we spend with a person, or the longer we are with them, the better we get to know them. It took the apostles a long time to get to know Jesus, and the longer they were with him, the better they got to know him. We know ourselves that we get to know people by spending time with them, by talking to them, by listening to them. When we experience people, we get to know and understand them better. If we spend time with the people we love, if we talk to them, listen to them and enjoy their company, why would we not do the same with Jesus? In order to know Jesus, we need to spend time with him. We need to do all these things with him that we do with our loved ones. During our Lenten journey, we are invited to know Jesus better. One of the pillars of Lent is prayer. It is in prayer that we experience Jesus. It is in prayer that we talk to him. And it is in prayer that we listen to him. Prayer brings us into a relationship with God. And that is why during Lent we have so many opportunities for prayer in our parishes. Opportunities to draw us closer to Jesus. In our Gospel, Jesus went up the high mountain with the Apostles. As we know in the Old Testament, a mountain was a place of encounter with God, a place to experience God. It was a place where people would go to reach God. Jesus climbs the mountain to show he is the fulfilment of the Old Testament. He becomes transfigured in order to show his apostles and us that he truly is God. We don't have to go up high mountains to experience God. We know this. We have our own holy mountain, the mountain we call the church. We come here to experience God. And like Peter, like James and like John, we see Jesus transfigured. We see him in the Eucharist. We experience him in the sacraments. In this church, God comes to us. He lowers himself to meet us mere sinners, but he does so in love. As Peter, James and John saw Jesus' divinity revealed, their attitudes to Jesus must have been transformed just as they saw Jesus transformed. We could say that is what Lent is all about, transforming ourselves and our attitudes so that we can see Jesus more clearly. During this holy season of Lent, we examine our lives to see where we stand before God and each other. We are asked to make this a special time of prayer, to grow in our relationship with Jesus, to see Jesus more clearly in our daily lives. Don't pass up this opportunity. And perhaps at the end of Lent, we can make the words of Peter our own. Lord, it is wonderful for us to be here, but we will never know unless we give it a try.